this is DMG and we're going to be talking about how to build a bridge. Precious! Okay, so how to build a bridge. So these are the tools that I'll be using, as we saw in video one, uh, quite a uh, array. And uh, we're going to use a four by two um, size and a single square. Now these squares that you see are six and a half centimeters. And you can see in video two how they are done. So first thing to do is take the single square and measure three and a quarter centimeters to the middle on both sides and then rule a line between two both points and just double check your measurements and then use the craft knife to cut all the way through and cut that in half. Always cut away from yourself and then I just use the scissors to clean up those edges. Right so this is where they're going to be placed on the 4x2 so in the middle on each side to the center line so we're going to measure where that is so three and a half cent sorry three and a quarter centimeters from each side to the uh, first line from the left side and the right side on the short side and here I made a mistake so always best to double check your measurements so three and a quarter otherwise it would have all been skew. So I'm just going to measure some lines there just so we've got some guides as to where to place those. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the lollipop sticks, the tongue depressors, and just find out how many I need to actually go right across and go over the edge. So about a half a centimeter over each of those lines. So now I'm going to um, use the ruler as a guide and cut the, from that first line and um, on each side and then we're going to peel off the first layer of the corrugation so here you can see the corrugation underneath and we're just going to rip that right off then use a craft knife then to clean up the edges on each side and just rub it over the um, that layer there just to clean it up so you can see now we've got a, a, a step down so now we use the hot glue and glue on that first stair so that's now in between those two lines we measured just so that uh, we've got it slap bang in the middle and the same on the other side with the hot glue squiggle it around there to get a nice good grip okay and now we're going to start on the lollipop stick so down each side just uh, put some hot glue and stick them together now be careful because this is obviously a smaller edge that we're working with uh, you know the hot glue is hot so be careful not to burn yourself and then I just do rub off the excess glue so you can see I've jumped ahead here and I've put six of these sticks together now this will form the center piece of the bridge and then I'm going to put uh, another three together for the left side and then, and then another three for the right side so this is just for the right side you can see it there on the screen on the right and then this is for the left side so just three sticks so then I've got these individual sticks left that are in between and uh, I'm going to check that that was six and a half centimeters that step so this is now going to be five centimeters to give us a half a centimeter on each side so I'm measuring now the five centimeters and I'm going to measure across all of these um, groups of sticks here just so I've got the same measurement and then connect them all with a line and uh, now this is the piece where we do four centimeters so I'm just going to measure four centimeters from the edge and four centimeters and just spin it around and do it on the other side connect those up and on this one as well so these form the the shorter rungs on the bridge where we're then going to put the the uh, pylons that go down into the water. So using the scissors, I'm just gonna lop off the curved ends and cut to the four centimeter mark. Same on the second one, cut off the curved end and the four centimeter mark. And then on each of the groupings of the three and six, we're gonna just chop off the curved edges at the five centimeter mark. So this is gonna give us the various pieces of the bridge that we need to form the bridge itself and just uh, be careful when cutting with the scissors you don't want to be too quick because uh, these can be quite brittle and you don't want them to break and have to start again 
All right, so we just lop off those edges. And now on the uh, left-hand side three-piece, I'm just going to measure half a centimeter in from each side so that can guide us where to put the four centimeter piece. So put the four centimeter piece on, and then hot glue and stick the middle piece onto that. Hold it together for a bit. It does dry very quickly, so uh, you know, just uh, doesn't take terribly long. There again, half a centimeter from each side. Put on the next four centimeter piece. This is now on the other side of the center piece. Clear off the glue and put on more hot glue and glue on the final right hand side piece. So this forms the main bridge and you just clean off all the bits of glue and things that are stuck on there. So this forms the main bridge as you can see and you're about half a centimeter onto each step. So now we're going to work on the actual pylons. So grab a matchstick and measure two centimeters and then from that center point measure another two centimeters and that's going to leave you a little bit of an off cut there. So we cut that off and cut in the two centimeter line. So uh, don't discard the off-cut pieces because we are actually going to use those. So hold on to those small pieces and basically you want to end up with 16 2 centimeter sticks and a whole bunch of off-cuts. So put four of them together, run hot glue down the center two and then roll the outer two on top of the center two. It's a little bit tricky but uh, you can get used to it on basically the second and third should be much easier. Once you've rolled it on, you want to um, squeeze them together and clear off the excess glue and that will form a nice two centimeter pylon. So that's what we're going to use as the, the pylons into the water. Okay, so just grab another four and put some hot glue on the center two and then just lightly roll those outer ones on top of the glue and then hold it together and squeeze just to get the glue oozing between each each set of matchstick and uh, there you have it just clear off the excess glue so I'm just going to jump ahead here and uh, go in there we have all four done all right so now you grab one of the pylons and hold it up against this step from the from the lower layer and mark how high that goes so we've got a mark there and now grabbing the extra pylons we're going to place them all flush together and continue that mark across so they all have the same mark at the same place. Now this is to guide where the um, where the base of the bridge is. So now we're going to grab one of those off cuts we were talking about earlier and we're going to place that on that line on the longer side. So then mark where that is and then color in down from that mark. So you so where there's the longer part of below the line, that's where you're going to place that little off cut piece then rule, rule a mark there and color in the rest down so jump ahead and there you can see all four at the bottom so now on the underside of the bridge i'm just going to put some glue at the shorter point there on right on the edge i'm going to put another off cut piece i'm going to do that on all four of those areas there now the reason for that is to increase the surface area uh, when we're attaching the side of the pylons to this it's not 100% necessary to do the step, as you'll see later on where we, we put extra bits on the pylons. However, because this increases the surface area, it does make it a lot more stable. So just do it on all four of those edges on the four centimeter pieces. And uh, what I then do for stability is grab a lollipop stick, run some hot glue down the middle and stick that on the underside right down the middle. Now that will stop the bridge from curving or you know if people are a little bit full hey kitty you always got to be careful when there are cats around especially with hot glue come on, kitty all right so that just is to to brace it and so that it doesn't bend so now you grab one of the pylons now you can see the darkened area there place hot glue on that darkened spot and place the um the off cut piece across that on from the edge of the darkened spot. So the sh darkened spot is the is the shorter edge, and uh, so you want to have um, you, that extra line above that. So you can see there on on the four pieces there is the the line above. So now we, where that line above is, you hold on the shorter end, and then glue across the off cut piece and up the 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 the, the long side of the pylon and then you glue that to the base. So as you can see here, 
just run the hot glue across the beam and then up the long side and then holding the bridge and you can then just connect onto that other off case cut piece that's on the bottom and it'll also be on the face side um, of the bridge as well so that's why I, I added those other bits just to give it more face area to stick onto not a hundred percent necessary you could do the step without the additional ones underneath but this just gives it a little bit more support and the hot glue will be quite solid so there we have the bridge so far and sticking over about half a centimeter on each step on each side so now you can see obviously there's a lot of corrugation here on this step so what i do to hide that is to fill in the corrugation with hot glue so i do that right around the step on all four sides of the step and then also in the um the groove as well where the water is going to be now you can see marks on the on the cardboard there you'll see why in the next video so oftentimes when you're using paint and that sort of thing the cardboard starts to warp especially when you've um, reduced the amount of layers so what i do is with these kebab sticks i go into the lower um, lower layer and push the kebab stick right into it and push that right through for support to give it so that it won't bend so when you're cutting your actual cardboard, it's important to cut the short sides across the grain of the, um, of the corrugation. So we used videos three, four, and five to do the stonework and the undercoating that you've seen there. And the bridges are obviously undercoated the same as in video three. So now I'm using Boots of Speed to do a first layer of brown. This is very similar to what we did in uh, the simple wooden door video. You don't need to go all over the base. I just do the edges underneath, uh, but I do go all over the top and all over the pylons on all four sides. I have also made a broken bridge, so I'm going to do that here as well. Now, I had to do the broken bridge because originally I didn't realize that the camera had stopped filming, so I built the entire bridge um, and then realized I'd have to do it again. So I used some scissors and cut the bridge apart and then stuck it all down as a broken bridge and uh, you'll see in the next video how we do more water effects with that so just to continue on with the wood i'm now going to add yellow it's a little bit too much yellow but it doesn't matter just don't use all of it i'm going to mix that up just to get a sludgy brownie yellow and using boots of speed just go all over the bridge again making sure to get the sides and the pylons on all four sides of the pylons and just the edging underneath you don't need to go all the way to the middle because you won't be able to see that and again, here on the broken bridge, I'm just hitting everything that's wooden. And uh, this should look pretty good when finished. So when this dries, it dries darker than what you see it now. So um, it, it's not going to look this sort of mucky yellow. It's going to be quite brown, as you'll see in this shot here. So then what I do is add a little bit of white to the color that we had there and grab a paper towel and um, brush off all the as much as i can off the brush and then dry brush the paint onto the wood so this is what obviously called the dry brushing technique this will bring out all the wood grain in the actual wood itself and gives you a nice uh, looking finish so it's an aged aged wood look not very difficult to do and i do this as well on the broken bridge so again with the paint off on the um, paper towel and uh, dust over all the wooden bits. So you really see the grain pop out. Okay, so that's how I do all the wood. Not very difficult. So that's how I create a wooden bridge. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about how to do the water effects and paint the water effects that are underneath the bridge and we'll put the final piece together. So I hope you enjoyed my videos. I love to read your comments. They go in the section below. Push the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see any more videos like the next video. And you can check out the Facebook page for regular pictures that I post about things I've been up to. You can also check out the website, thedmg.info. And that's pretty much it.
And if you've got time, check out the subscribe video. I'll do this annotation video.